Thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is how you are going to translate this Adobe XD design into a Flutter web project. Alright, before we start anything, I'm going to go through on how you can use the XD or Adobe XD to Flutter plugin. If you want to start with the tutorial on how you convert your Adobe XD design to Flutter web, you can go to the timestamp just below. Alright, so the first thing is that create a Flutter project and make sure that you have the Adobe XD dependency or package inside your PubSpec YAML file. The next thing is inside your settings, you can type in preview hot reload on save watcher. And this will allow you to have a hot reload when you make changes inside Adobe XD. So make sure you set this to true or you have a tick on the checkbox. So once you have done that, Make sure you have the Adobe XD application in your machine or your computer. So once you have downloaded Adobe XD, you can click on add-ons and you can click on plugins. And this will open up the Adobe XD plugin browser. So the next thing is you can search for Flutter, press enter, the Adobe XD to Flutter official plugin, it's over here with the Flutter logo. So double click on this and you can install it. I have currently installed it and make sure you give a rating over here. So once you have all of that, there is this page 404 error page by Margaret Colavini. The link is in the description and it is a very simple and nice looking error page for a travel website, Trevor. And you can download it over here. So make sure you download it by clicking it and then select a folder in order for you to download it. So once you download it in your downloads folder, double click it and this will open the Adobe XD file. Now let's go to the 404 error page and in order for you to zoom in, what you can do is press your control or command and then you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in. In order for you to drag, you can press space bar and then you can drag the screen until it looks centered. Let's go to the plugin tab and select UI panel. If the UI panel does not show, you have to restart Adobe XD. So try again. So this will show all the different tabs over here. So let's set this folder into the path of our Flutter project. Currently I'm using Adobe XD tutorial 2. So open it. This is the path where our website screen will render inside our Flutter project. Next thing is that the code path will have a default library path inside your Flutter project. So we can leave it default. The next thing is image path. So you need an image path that is assets images. If you don't have it, I'm going to show you on how to create it. So open up your explorer and then right click on this empty space and click on new folder. So then you can type in the word assets and backslash images. So with this, it creates the assets and images folder inside the assets. Press enter and now you have the folders. The next thing is go to pubspec.yaml and scroll all the way down until you see the word flutter. Now we are going to create our path for our assets. So we can uncomment this, these two lines of code and then we can just 
replace it with assets slash images slash dot so what this path means is that for our assets we will point all of the files under our images folder so let's save this and this will check whether you have the assets images folder and then we can just leave everything blank so we are going to export this error page as a widget so in order for you to select the screen what you can do is you can either press command or control and then you can click on the screen and this will select the whole screen in order for you to export so now let's click on export widget and now it has some warnings but it is okay so let's go back to our VS code and if you were to look in our explorer tab you could see that the error page has been successfully rendered so if you were to look through there's a lot of transforms and a lot of SVG code this is due to Adobe XD having it to render as an SVG so let's go to our error page so let's have our error page widget copied and paste it over our home page and then you can press command or control dot to open the shortcut menu and you can choose the second option import library package Adobe XD tutorial error page once you have selected that let's save this and see how it looks like in our flutter web preview and now you could see that not everything has been rendered successfully so this is due to flutter svg so currently our flutter svg does not handle the web very well so there's errors on this so the thing is what we need to do is we are going to make our svg image over here into an actual image so we can use it inside our flutter web project so the first thing is that we will have to export this huge image into a png so this is a group itself if you have a group it you can just highlight it make sure everything is selected right click and then there is this group selection click on it and this will make it into a group how are you going to export it into an image so go to the option and there is this thing called export and there is this selected so you can technically use the hotkey command or control E so I'm going to use the hotkey command E and now it says save as group 396 let's put error underscore hero and let's export it inside our downloads folder so open up your downloads folder and then just drag your error hero png over to our adobe xd with this now you can replace our svg image over here with our png image over here now the thing is we need to hide this thing so we can just overlap it first make sure that everything is aligned you can really zoom in and see whether it's aligned correctly and nicely and the next thing is we can go to the layers at the bottom left over here so you can either command y or control y and then we can hide the group that we have grouped earlier so our group is group 396 it may named differently so you have to trial and error so if you were to select it it actually selects the svg group that we have created so we can either press this i or we can hide it by command comma if i were to drag this out there is no image behind it all right so let's get back by command z or control z so once we are done we can go back to our plugin and then we can name our image export so let's type in hero underscore 404 and then in our image parameter we can type in hero 404 image 
and then with this we can export the image and now if we were to go back currently it's not shown which is fine so we can restart by stopping the debug session and then we can launch it again all right so now we have successfully export the image over here now there are things that we're still missing so we're missing the icon over here we are missing an image over here we are missing a button over here and we are missing a curve background over here so now we need to export this Trevor icon so let's put in the name Trevor underscore icon and let's export this image and then we can export this whole screen let's export the widgets let's go to the error page now you can see the travel icon is already exported for us inside the explorer you could see the different exported images inside our images folder so let's restart this and see how it looks like we probably have to restart our debugging session in order for us to see the necessary changes because we still have errors that shows over here so that's fine the next thing is we are going to make this into an image so this orange peels and at the same time this translucent curvy blue shape so let's do that so for this we can click on mark for export and then for this peels over here if it's hard to select what you can do is you can zoom in and then you can press shift and select the different images over here then you can group them and once you group them you could see the image that's being rendered at our xd to flutter plugin so click on mark for export so for this button over here it is a bit strange because for a button on the top right it is rendered successfully but our button at our bottom left if we were to zoom out it's not rendered successfully so what you can do is you can just copy this and paste and let's put in this back to home over here so you can center it and then you can bring to the front for the text and you can group them and then you can just overlap them at the same time go to layers and select the button background over here alright so let's hide this button background and if you were to move it there is no button behind this back to home button so we can technically export this widget and let's see if this back to home button is rendered alright so it's rendered nicely over here okay so now we are going to export the selected images so we have one and we have two so what you can do is you can go to file export and then there is this thing called batch so we are going to export this and then you have this error hero.png already exist so let's replace it inside our downloads folder you could see there is the images that we have exported so we can just rename this as orange underscore pills and then we can put this as blue curve shape okay so let's swap them out so let's zoom in and then we can go to the layers and hide the original one to see what's the name of the group you can just click it and you can see group 397 so let's just overlap like this and then after that we can hide it all right great the next one is this background so we can drag it over here and we just overlap it and we hide it over here all right so the next thing is we can export the image into our flutter project so go to our flutter plugin and just select the necessary image so the image export we can type in blue curve underscore shape and then the image parameter blue 
curve shape so this image parameter means is the variable that we've created and the image export name is the file name that we are going to export into our flutter project so we can send this to the back since we are unable to select anything that is above this all right so we select this and the image export name will be orange underscore pills and our image parameter or our variable is orange pills and then we can export this image and then we can export this image also all right so now we can export this whole screen all right so now we just need to restart so just restart our debugging session and we can open up the explorer to see our different images over here so we have the hero image orange peels the blue curve shape and the travel icon all right so now we can just remove this close the debug console and we can preview our flutter error page all right so our 404 error page has been rendered nicely on our flutter web project so as you can see the container over here has been rendered for us nicely and the images over here so one more thing is we want to change the color of this it was originally purple so let's ungroup it first let's see so go to the tab on the right and you will see this droplet and this allows you to choose the color so if you were to export this widget and then let's go back you could see that the purple has been rendered for us nicely so that's about it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want more of this video subscribe down below and comment down what other flutter web websites you want to render from adobe xd design to flutter code so that's it stay safe and all the best bye bye